Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to do a tool review on this Boss Stitch Stapler uh, Brad Nailer. It's pneumatically operated. It is model BTFP71875. It is available at uh, most of your tool supply outlets, your big box stores, things of that nature. Uh, like I said, it is pneumatically operated, so you got to have air compressor to run it. It will do uh, staples from 3 8 up to 9 16 of an inch and brad nails, uh, let me get this right, uh, half inch to 5 8 of an inch. Uh, I do have some staples that are 3 8 of an inch. We'll be demonstrating that. And I got some brad nails here that are 5 8 of an inch. We'll be demonstrating the use of those. Now the tool itself, as you can see, it has two triggers. If you're going to use it, you got to pull this trigger first and that's like an interlock, and then when you pull the second trigger, it's when it actually fires. This end here is where you attach your air hose for your the pneumatics. Um, the staples load in the bottom. Uh, push that up, this will slide back. If you have brad nails, um, let me get these out. When you got the tool upside down, like I have it here, if you load brad nails, they go to the left side like that. As you're looking down left side, if you do staples, they just go in the center. But right now I'm loading the brad nails. Make sure they stay on the left side. Push this up. That pushes down and locks. That loads the tool. Now it's ready to go as far as the brad nails are concerned. Now for your air, always have your air unhooked when you're loading this thing, just for safety's sake. Uh, we'll hook up the air now. Now my air pressure is is applied the tool is loaded with brads it's ready to use so if i put it down where i want it pull the first trigger pull the second trigger and it fires a brad now i can tell you there's a brad nail there but you can't see it so what i'm going to do i'm going to get this little piece of wood here well i wasn't holding it right just fire a couple of those in there. I think my air pressure is starting to get a little low because I got my compressor shut off for noise. But now, as you can see, this is nailed to my table. Uh, we can pull those out. One of the staples stayed in the board. One is there. I'll take care of those a little later. But the, uh, the brad nails seem to work just fine. And like I said, these are 5 eighths of an inch brad nails, and it will take uh, half inch to 5 eighths. So that's as long as a brad nail as it will take, and it drove them just fine. All right, now I'm going to stop. I'm going to take my brad nails out. I'm going to put staples in here, and I'm going to show you that. Now I'm going to demonstrate the staples. Now these are 3 eighths of an inch long. As I told you uh, before, it will take staples that are a quarter of an inch to 9 sixteenths. These are kind of middle ways, but as you fake got the Staple her upside down, pull this back, drop them in, slide it down, push it up, push this in and down, and it locks into place. That loads the staples and it's ready to go. Of course, I had the air unhooked when I was doing that. So now I hook the air back up. And I'm hoping this will staple these okay because my air compressors, I think it's down to about 100 PSI. And I don't want to plug it in because it makes so much noise. But let's just try it and see how it works. Nice and flush. That staple's in there great. Let's see if we can staple this thing to my table like we did with the brad nails. There we go. They didn't hold as well because they're shorter than the brad nails were, but they shot through there just fine. Nice and flush on the top. Like I said, my air compressor is down to about 100 PSI, but it was still driving these without any trouble. Uh, you probably need a little bit more pressure driving these, depending on how hard a surface you're uh, stapling into. But anyway, that's the Bostic pneumatic stapler. Like I said, it'll do staples as well as brad nails. So I'd just like to say thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne. I hope you enjoyed this tool review. And if you did, please share it with your friends. Click like at the bottom. And if you would, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow. So thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne. And we hope you have a great day.